What's going on everyone? This is Slackerman with another model review. Today we are looking at, I believe it is, the Jazzwares Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron. Today we are looking at the X-Wing and then later in the week we'll be looking at the Razor Crest. I was a big fan growing up of the Galoob Star Wars Action Fleet line. Um, I don't have any action fleets left. I ended up selling the rest of my collection to buy some Warhammer uh, painted models, but I've always been a huge fan of the action fleet line. So I was super excited when, um, again, I believe it's Jazzwares, uh, was doing this Star Wars uh, Micro Galaxy Squadron. Um, I think that just like NECA was doing the Cinemachines line, I believe that there's uh, a lot of people that want, especially in Star Wars, a at least six inch or kind of in that scale uh, collection of all of the ships and starfighters. For me, that's what I uh, liked about Star Wars was not anything really to do with the uh, Jedi or the Force. I liked all of the uh, war aspect of Star Wars. So the X-Wings, the TIE Fighters, all the different blasters and weapons, etc. So I'm uh, really excited that we're getting another uh, new line of figures. And I have to say that I like the scale a lot more too. So Again, I don't have any uh, Action Fleet with me or any of my X-Wings from Action Fleet to compare, but this is slightly smaller than the Action Fleet line. So I believe the Action Fleet was around six, uh, six inches, where this is a little around like four, so it's kind of uh, shrunken down a bit, but I think this scale is perfect. So let's take a look at the X-Wing first. Again, the packaging looks similar to this. I've already thrown it away. But for uh, accessories, you do get a Luke Skywalker, you do get an R2-D2. One of the cool functions is there's a button right there. If you push that, it'll help kind of eject the droid. Um, another nice feature is the landing gear. Um, if you remember the old Action Fleet line, it was pretty obvious when you turned the, uh, the model or the toy upside down. With these, the landing gear, um, retracts pretty snugly so you can barely notice it whereas with the action fleet you just had a big exposed kind of hole there you can see r2 just uh, flew out there's the little peg that he sits in so you can just set him in there so the uh, level of detail and paint i think is uh, a lot better than action fleet so you can see starting at the engine you have tons of uh scuffing and uh, weathering throughout the X-Wing, which I really like a lot. I think they did a really good job. Right there, you can see kind of the uh, paint chipping away from the uh, red uh, portion. You have kind of that yellow uh, line on the engine that's faded. And again, all of the dirt and the grime throughout the um, X-Wing, they did a really great job. They sculpted in the two uh, torpedo tubes on the nose there. So that looks great. The engines are nicely done. You, had a, you have the uh, turbines or fan blades there sculpted in. So that's really nice as well. Taking a look at the back, I really love the engines. So the actual thruster uh, nozzles are nicely sculpted and they did a really good job with that kind of black uh, wash or uh, blackening of uh, around the uh, thrusters to give it that kind of uh, you know engine burn throughout all of the thruster bells there. So that looks really good. Um, yeah, so the Action Fleet definitely wasn't as weathered and nice looking as this line. The other thing I like, I finally have my camera stand again, is that the uh, S-foils retract, um, but they stay locked, which I really like a lot. With the Action Fleet line, I believe that when you had an X-Wing, it would only like extend to about there, which kind of sucked. So these open uh, nice and wide and they lock into place, which I really like a lot. So again, um, smaller than the Action Fleet, but a lot uh, better weathered, painted and detailed. In fact, the, the sculpt is really sharp on this. So I could see a lot of uh, customizers or modelers repaint these and make this look better or just as good as like a Bandai model kit. Uh, what's really crazy is this is actually better uh, the size, the paint, 
than the Reveltech X-Wing. I wish I still had that, but Reveltech released some vehicles, and one of the vehicles that they released was an X-Wing, and I believe they wanted at least like $80 or $90 for that. And this thing, which I bought on Amazon for about $15 or $16, is better painted, uh, better sculpted, the articulation of the wings, everything is better with this $16 uh, figure or model than that Reveltech $80 or $90 one. So if you are into or were into the Action Fleet line and you want to get back into collecting Star Wars uh, Starfighters and you don't want to spend tons of money on some painted uh, Bandai model kits and you don't want to put them together yourself, I think this is a great line. It's not really, uh, you would think for the price point and how they're selling it would be geared more towards kids, but with the uh, paintwork and the detail, uh, you could easily uh, collect this and put this next to some Bandai models. I think it looks great, um, just how it is out of the box. So that's it for the X-Wing. Again, this week I will be uh, reviewing this. Really excited. Uh, I've heard some great uh, things, some cool reviews that I've seen on the Razor Crest, so I'm eager to open this up and review this this week. So, hope everyone liked the video, and thanks a lot for watching.